Greetings and welcome back everyone to Dapperdale Farm in Stardew Valley, where it is Monday the 8th of summer year 2, and it is Gus's birthday. Okay, we're going to have to remember to get Gus something for his birthday, I'm not sure what Gus would like. Living off the land. Here's a reminder of the fish you can only find in the summer. The Dorado, found in the forest rivers during the day. Rainbow Trout, found in forest rivers and in the mountains during the day. Pufferfish, found in the ocean in the early afternoon. An octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can! Ah, uh, no. Uh, spirits are very happy today. Ooh, very good day to go for mining then. And it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take you. Yes. You're coming with me. You are staying. Uh, do I have anything else I want to do? Uh, yeah, kind of. We'll drop off some things in here. We'll drop that off. I'm going to drop off the radishes. I want those radishes to be using something. Also the cave carrots. Now, um, oh, chocolate cake for Gus. If I have no other idea what to get someone, chocolate cake it is. And we will have a complete breakfast for ourselves. Though I do want a bunch of fish as well. Just for gifts, really. Um, anything else I really want to take? I mean, I wouldn't mind having an extra minus treat, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to keep that on me, f just in case we go, uh, spelunking. I was going to say cave diving, but that's not true. We're not going cave diving, I've yet to see cave- well, actually, there are caves with rivers in it, come to think of it. But mail, let's see. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe I like. Autumn's Bounty. Thank you very much, Demetrius. How kind of you. Meet me at the docks on a sunny morning. I've got something in mind. Elliot. And then in brackets, very, very tiny writing. The marvelous man. I think of Elliot as, as some sort of spy, some sort of classic spy. All debonair and charming. Ah, this, this is where he tells me he's actually, you know, this whole starving arts thing, it's, it's just, just a, a, a ploy. He's actually here. It's a sting operation against Lewis. Lewis is some sort of criminal mastermind. He's been skimming money from the town. And everyone is, is is implicated in this. Except me. Elliot got too close. Ah, oh, this is turning into a grand novel. Maybe this is one of his novels. Maybe that's what the romance novel was. Oh my lord, a little bit of action, a little bit of romance, everything a good spy novel needs. Wow, Elliot. You're amazing. If you don't end up being a spy, I, I still find you amazing. But I would find you much more amazing if you were a spy. I'm just I'm I'm being honest with you. If you were a spy. Very amazing. Okay, let's see. Uh, hello, Gravelord. No. No, no, Gravelord. I, wa I want to say hello to the other chickens now. There we go. I need to get past. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have I put a large brown egg in the collections yet? No, I have not. Well, let's go do that right now, then. Before I forget and stick it in a mail machine. I've still got a letter I haven't picked up. What a dip. Also, a wall I need to fix. Also, what a dope. Two walls I need to fix, my lord. Alright then. Also, thinking about it, you know, let's take the opportunity to uh, gather some things up here. I mean, I, should I go? I don't know, my heart's racing a little bit. It's like one of those things, like, what if it's bad? Could I take it? Wouldn't it be better just not to show? No. No. Elliot couldn't, couldn't Care for someone so cowardly. We're gonna have to go there. I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use. Thank you very much, Robin. Got some extra courage? Possibly not. Uh, Akasha, we need to do our work quickly. It's like a date. Also, there are many kegs not doing things. This is unacceptable. In the extreme. You can all come with me. Very high quality, well, not high quality eggs per se, but valuable eggs, definitely. Um, I will then grab out some more fruit. Melons, yes, you're coming with me. Spiced berries also coming along with me. Spiced berry and then an orange. We'll have orange wine. I've never had orange wine. I'm not sure that it would be very nice. I'll be honest with you, everyone here. I have a sneaking suspicion that orange wine would not a fine wine make. 
unfortunately. All right, well, let's quickly go and take care of our animals. Pets before romance. I'm sorry, but I, I have a strict duty to my pets. I don't think of them as, as, as farm animals, as, as workers on my farm. These are, these are beloved pets, members of the family. And they come before any love life issues. There we go. And Bill. Oh, really, Bill? Oh. Really? Why can I not face the right way? Again, I really think... I, I can't imagine that it's comfortable for the cows being milked when, even when I'm milking thin air, I'm wringing my hand so hard that my skin sounds like old leather. Just gonna take a wild guess and say that's not gonna be comfortable. Alright, there we go. Everything is sorted. We can drop off these. And wow, got a lot of strawberry wine there. That's fantastic. We need a lot more stuff though. I need to go and buy a lot more stuff and get everything sorted. It's 11 a.m. We must ride, Akasha. Oh, this way will be the best way. Go forth! We'll come back and we'll water everything later on. The marvellous man awaits. Uh, should we call him the money? No, I don't have time. Hi, Jazz. Bye, Jazz. Ah, Leah. Mm -hmm. I always have time for Leah. Thank This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome. I found some wild fruits this morning. Sorry, I don't have any left. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find something. I'm sure I will. At the beach, though. Well, that's something maybe. Oh, Akasha, you're doing your weird breakdancing trot again. I mean, I'm okay with this, but... Ha-ha! Hey, Alex. Not quite the person I thought I was going to meet. Oh, hi. Was it... Was I meant to come to the beach? Oh, I don't know the details of the letter anymore. Damn it! Oh, I was in such a rush. I thought it was from Elliot, and all the other deals just kind of melted in my mind. Boo! I mean, no offense, Alex, but uh, um, it's Ava, right? Uh, yeah, we've we've known each other for like a year, dude. I know we don't talk that often. Come on. Even I'm not that bad with names. I'm just enjoying this great weather, Amak. Mhm. Mm hmm. Hey, go along. Wow, my ball skills are terrible. <laughs> nice try. Also, if that's your idea of long, I pity any football team you're on. I can throw further than that. And I'm just a rugby player. We don't do those crazy, I'm going to throw the ball, like the entire length of the pitch sort of things. Ah. I'm going to be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training to get stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. I'm sure you'll get there, dude. I believe in you. Thanks, Avak. I'll remember that. Ah! Avak, I know you have faith in my abilities as a writer. That means a lot to me. How did you get in front? What? I don't care. Time Lord DNA. Timey wimey spacey stuff. Anyone who looks this good has to be a Time Lord. Hey. Look, I fixed up that old robot. It's been sitting by my house. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, actually. Would you do me the honor of joining me for her maiden voyage? Oh, you're blushing too. Though again, it's still, it just actually looks like sunburn on you. But certainly. I would, I would, could think of nothing better to do with my time right now. In fact, I pretty much just like snubbed everyone in order to get here in time. Get in the boat. Like, I, no, I refuse. I've got a deathly fear of the ocean. Ooh, serious talk time. So, my book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's been getting some good reviews from the critics. Oh, I had absolute faith in you, Elliot. I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. Oh, you're welcome. Actually, that's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. But I'm grateful that you believed in me, in my vision, and 
Well. Um. How oh, do I say this without using this face? Oh my lord! Ah! The way you say it is you use words and you don't look like I just stabbed you in the groin. Unless I did, in which case it's completely understandable. I hope I didn't, though. Well, we've been friends for a while now, but I'm not sure if I feel that way about you anymore. Okay, for a moment my heart sank, but, the, you know, the, the situation, I mean, there's only really one way you could interpret all of this, unless he's being especially cruel. No, I'm not saying I want to cut all ties with you. There's that stabbed in the groin face again. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's see. How do I put this? You're a writer. I'm sure you can think of a million ways to put it. Once, I'm at a loss for words. Well, action. Oh, well, okay. You, you, you took it straight out of my... The, the words out of my mouth there. Eh? Avak, you're trembling. You're making me very uncomfortable. Stop. <laughs> No, totally happy. I was worried you might not feel this way about another man. Ah, I'm attracted to people, not to genders. We'd better head back before the southern wind picks up. Look at the valley from here. It finally looks like home. Not quite the smooth operator that I was imagining you in, in this whole spy novel thing going on in my the head, but uh, it was it was quite endearing. What a day. Wow, what a day indeed. And I take it you were just kind of watching that, Alex. Hey, that was fun, huh? Wow. Okay. Blunt. I appreciate that. You're like, why should I make a big deal of it? Nothing wrong. I'd have done the same thing too. Hold well on, Alex. Two rainbow shells. <sighs> Anything around here? No. Well, there's some wiggly worms, but you get to live another day, wiggly worms. My lord. And coconut. I'm afraid I have not brought lime, so don't even ask. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing! You have some odd favorite things, I'll be honest with you, Haley. I should start reading some books instead of magazines. Oh, well, you know what? Magazines. They, they stick all words in them, you read whatever you want, really. I mean, it's good to expand your horizons and all that, but. I'm not one of these people that thinks that just by virtue of it being a book versus a magazine, that book is going to have something better to say. Okay. Now then. Where to next? It's 1.20pm. we got a lot of work to do at the home. Got a decent amount of wood, I suppose. Um, we also need more seeds. Hey, Pierre. How's it going, mate? I've got summer seeds available. You better stock up. Um, there we go. That's very kind of you. I like this. I'm glad you do. Let's see. Now, I want ridiculous amounts of melon seeds. And apparently pepper poppers are amazing, so I'll grab a bunch of those as well. And then... That's an awful lot of money. Is that some sort of bloody skull wall or, or a heart wall? I can't tell. Um, now, the thing is, is if we plant in the greenhouse, will that persist through a season? Like, the quality? Because, I mean, the greenhouse should persist. So, you know what? We're going to grab a load of quality fertilizer. Just in case. I'm not going to worry too much about all of the saplings, though. Still can't get Elliot's face out of my mind. That genuinely looked like I was kicking him in the shins. 
<sighs> I mean, it's kind of endearing that that he was so clumsy about it, but yeah, the whole the whole debonair spy thing out the window. Unless it was all just an act. Yes, we're gonna go with that. He is he's just a very professional spy. It takes a very good actor to act like a bad one. Uh, she might not forgive you though. I think she might be allergic. What? What is wrong with you people? Why would you even tell me that? No, you don't even get a gift today, Lewis. I'm absolutely convinced Elliot's on a sting operation against you. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Summer is nice, but it also means hard work. Lewis, you and Demetrius, people just weird in this town. I feel more energetic in this wonderful weather. I'm glad. Boink. Let's go and give Gus his birthday present. Hello, Gus. I know, I know. It's it's not the regular time to swing by. A birthday gift, that's very kind of you. I love it. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. That's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes I hear too much, though. Yeah, I can imagine. Did Lewis ask you to get his purple trunks as well? Uh, Lewis, how could it end up like this? I had such high hopes for you, with your traditional tea setting and everything, but you turned into the villain of this story. <sighs> Tom Nook 2.0. Hello, Krovis. I have stuff for you. Please accept it. This is an amazing gift. You're welcome. Right, I need to go... Honestly, I'm going to go and dump a lot of money into stone and wood at Robin's place. If I can get there in time. Then we're going to build a couple more kegs and, and all sorts of things. And hopefully, we will be able to get a last little bit out of our... Um, out of all of the fruit that we've got. Hey, Penny. What are you doing? Hello, Alec. It's nice to see you're doing well. Oh, that's nice of you to say. Uh, well, I'm usually keeping hold of these, Sandy, but for you. Thank you, this looks special. You're welcome. Whoosh. Now, if Robin's closes at four, I don't think it does, but if it does, then, unfortunately, Penny is the reason why we won't get our stone. I would forgive her, though, because I made that choice willingly. Right. Really tempted. Neolithic table. Walnut end table. Oak tea table. Can't say no. Has the word tea in it. Um, oak bench. I was going to take that. See if I can put it outside. If I can't, that's just real lying. But is there a better? No, there's not a better one for grabbing them in like hundreds or anything like that. Unfortunately, I'll do. We'll go for, yeah, something similar, like another 200. Thanks, Robin. Oh, actually. You can make a lot of things out of wood. Yes, you can. Thanks. This is really nice. You're welcome. Ah, it's a nice day for a bit of a ride, isn't it, Akasha? Uh, we should go and see if we can find Linus, though. Linus? No Linus. Linus wouldn't be in his tent on a day like this. He'd be out sampling the bounty of nature. Um, some sashimi for you. This is a great gift, thank you. During all these years, I've discovered a few secrets about life. You'll have to find out for yourself. Uh, I, I've got my own, my own theories about life. Ah, let's go. Okay. What have we got? Have we got any mushrooms? Yes, we do. Rather awesome. Thank you very much, mushrooms. And let's go and pat Snuffkin. Okay, no, Snuffkin has already been patted today. Very well. Right, let's drop these off. Um, 
Nothing else. Well, I could drop those off as well, actually, because we have been going through our our fish quite actively lately. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's go and pop some of these into the chest. Uh, the rainbow shell. Actually, I'm going to keep hold of the rainbow shell. What else do I have to pop in there? Oh, actually, nothing. Oh, I should have dropped off the cake. Oh, well, the crayfish can just go there. It's fine. I don't seem to be able... Can I place that down? I can! Ah, oh, fantastic, I think. No? Can I not? Rubbish! Absolute rubbish! Who wants a bloody bench in the middle of their house? Ah, uh, fine. I guess. I'm not too happy about this, though. I must confess. No! Oh, what? Scallywax! How can I put fences in my house, but I can't put benches outside? That's just unfair. Also, that sounds just so much better now that it's not there. Uh, actually, I want to move that up. Okay, let's go. Right. Got quite a lot of produce over here. We need copper, clay, and oak resin, or just flat-out coal. Got a lot of coal. Let's get a bunch of these preserve bins made. Now we need loads of coal made as well. All of you can come with. Have we got enough? We do. Kind of. Just get as many of these preserve jars down now as we can. Uh, what are we going to place in those? Um, let's go for the peaches. We just need two more, and that will actually be all of those out of my inventory, which will be nice. Uh, I'll grab you and you. All right, not too bad at all, actually. I could, of course, just chop down more and more trees, but uh, I'm not that fussed about that option. Uh, let's go this way. Actually, I do need that up on my hot bar still. I should plant some of those seeds that I've got. In fact, I'm going to. Let's get those down. We'll go with peppers for now. I'm going to have to re-fertilize just that little bit there, unfortunately. And some of the bits down here, too. Oh, that's a bit of a pain, but okay. Uh, here as well. I was about to plant it and say, well, I'll fertilize it in a moment, but then I remembered. Worry not, everyone. I am only mildly a derp today. Only mildly. No promises this is going to continue like that for very long, but we'll see. I need at least eight spots, so that's six. And seven, eight. That'll do. Oh, man. All oh, of the fences down here are just ruined. This is terrible. There we go. I'm need to go and get myself some sap from up above. And start firing that down here, actually. We may as well. Ooh, smoke resin. Damn it. Thank you. I'll go grab that while we're here. There we go. Okay, things are starting to look up. I do need to start planting things in the greenhouse, however. Quite badly on that as well. Uh, you can come with... I will actually... What I'll do is I'll get rid of all of this from my inventory. No reason to have it there. That can go as well. Mm. No, I'm going to keep the rainbow shell for a little bit. I'm not sure, but we might want it for something. Should I make some basic sprinklers for now? I mean, I could easily afford to. Actually, I can only afford to make one. I need to go to the mine. I really desperately need to go to the mine. 
Okay, we'll reconsider that then. Uh, I need a copper and an iron bar, though. Do I have copper? I might have copper down in the industrial area, so I'll grab that. I need more coal. Um... Hardwood and copper. Well, we're probably not going to be getting another one of those then. Honestly. We'll see, though. I'll move these down with me. Grab this. And also bring these along as well. Right, good enough. It's only 9.50, so we've got still plenty of time to uh, tend the field. Oops, I left this gate open. That wall over there is broken, but I'm not going to fix it just yet. Uh, let's grab you... In fact, I've got... no. Oh, yeah, eight is fine. I'll just fertilize that area. It's not a biggie. And then pop all of these down. Oh, I actually got it wrong. Oh, what a dip. Oh, I didn't plant it up there, that's why. Okay, well, the melons are going with me to the greenhouse. Actually, that being said, I should grab the other seeds as well, just in case. Let's grab you. Right, we want the rare seeds coming with me, the beet seeds coming with me, all of that. Um, pumpkin seeds, sure. I can start converting a lot of this stuff. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to pop the pumpkin into a, the seed maker. Right, everything is now filling up my inventory. We might not get to, to planting tonight. Or we might not plant much, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and place that seed maker down somewhere. Here we'll do. For the time being. Then we want the pumpkin straight in there. Okay, right. We want... Uh, first, to pick up all of the coal. We've actually got a lot of money's worth here tonight. Then we want to drop more of this in. I can go there. This can go in. Then we can gather a load of stuff. Okay. No more room. That's fine. Let's go ahead and drop off the walls and the... Well, no, not the maple syrup just yet. Drop that off, though. Along with those... Pumpkin seeds. How many have we got? Also, I need to sneeze. Unfortunately, my mic doesn't have a mute button anymore. It just has, like, a game control. So, uh, I was fumbling around with that. I'll probably have to cut that one out rather than just muting it. Uh, how many did we... Oh, we ended up with four. That's not that bad, actually. All things considered, that's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We really do need to make a move if we're going to avoid falling asleep. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we've got one more. The grapes can go in. And then the cranberries can start going in. Actually, I'll hold on to these for now. Oh, no, no, no. Have I got enough? No. Might. No, we're, we're flat out not going to be able to get that in time now. And that's fine. I'm just happy to have done what I've done. Let's go uh, close the pens, and then we're going to go to bed. And remember the wonderful day that it has been today. Comically wonderful. Endearingly awkward. Or just very, very well played by a professional spy. I've still not not decided that, that he isn't a spy yet. I mean, if he was a spy, he'd probably want to throw me off the scent. Maybe he fears that uh, if he got too close, that I would be used against him. Or maybe he just fears that 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 I would become a target. He seems the sort that would that would put my safety above his his job. Such a guy. Let's go to sleep. Right. How much did we make? Twelve k, my lord. That was pretty good. The strawberry wine board is in a hell of a lot of money there. Very nice indeed. We even made a fair bit from the forage. 
So 13k in total, not a bad day, all things told. Went on a beautiful boat ride, had an awkward kiss, uh, made a load of money, didn't forget to close the gates to all of the farm animals. Yeah, okay, I consider this day a great success. What is going on today? Anything? Nothing. Then it's Mara's birthday. Okay, no, great success. That's going to be it for me, though. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, awkward as it may have been at some point, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>